Hi guys! Okay, so today we're going to be doing a get ready with me while I talk about my spiritual journey. Just kind of like an update. So let's get right into this video. Guys, this is my new makeup bag. I got it for Christmas. I'm obsessed with it. Kind of matches my headband. I have not talked to you guys in such a long time, I feel like. But let's just get straight on into everything. If you guys have any questions, like, while I'm talking in the video, go ahead and comment down below. I'm going to be responding to everybody. Okay, so I've gotten a lot of comments over the past two years. Are you still on your spiritual journey? Are you still spiritual? Do you still use crystals? Do you still meditate? Like, what's going on? Because I kind of went, like, MIA for, like, two years. And just trying to figure things out because my family move. I honestly wasn't doing the best mentally and then we moved into the apartment and I've been so much better but then I had to get a job so then I wasn't really doing any YouTube. My camera broke. Just so many different things that I just didn't feel right making videos but I've missed it so much. So yes I am still spiritual. I am still on my spiritual journey. I feel like once you start you never end it. You are on your spiritual journey your whole life. Like, I don't think I'll ever be a day where I'm like, yeah, it's over. Here's the end. You learn about things every day and you learn about yourself every day and you're constantly evolving. And every day, like, I get to see new perspectives and try to be open-minded to new ideas and things like that. I still love the moon. I still love my angels. I still talk to my angels. I can still see spirits. I still love seeing signs from the universe and God. Like, I love seeing little signs here there. I feel like in many ways I'm the same from when I first started my YouTube channel, but I'm also very different. I still have crystals, but I have not gone shopping for crystals in a very long time. I feel like where my crystal collection is right now, I feel like it's a it's at a really good spot and I like it. I haven't meditated with my crystals um, in a very long time. For a while, since I wasn't meditating and I wasn't doing anything with my crystals, I felt like I was failing at my spiritual journey and I felt like loss but that's just not true like there's just so many different paths you could go through i've made a couple of videos in the past too like while i was still using crystals a lot i don't think that you need them in life to be on a spiritual journey i think that they can amplify your power but everything that you do comes within yourself everything that you need is here i haven't necessarily meditated but i do like to be in silence and just take deep breaths not necessarily like listening to a YouTube video. I haven't even put it in the category of meditation, so maybe I have been, but in a very different way. But yes, I feel like I do look at my spiritual journey a little bit different than when I first started my YouTube channel, but I think that's okay, and I think that that's normal because we're supposed to be constantly bettering ourselves and, and learning new things and experiencing new things because we're humans. We're constantly changing. I feel like now I'm way more minimal in my spiritual aspects. I don't really do many new age things like I was doing when it was like a hype and a trend. But I'm mainly focusing on things that truly matter to me energy wise for my mental, my spirit, my heart, my health and things like that. Like I'll name off a couple of things that I'm like that I'm really focusing on. I focus on vibes and energy like whether that be with people, myself, animals, environments, spirits, things like that. I'm trying to focus more on food and things that are going into my body. Focusing on my mind and my body and using my own power. Definitely I'm focusing more on God, the universe. For sure I'm still working on being in the present. I really want to focus on that and my my gratitude herbs oils essential oils nature breath work putting my faith and anxieties into god talking to my angels always looking for signs i always keep track of the moon cycles and kind of fit things in that kind of go with the cycles depending on what type of energy that moon is giving same with the seasons and seeing the energy the season gives us cleaning wise food wise things like that natural remedies for sure protecting my energy protecting my peace only letting people that i know and trust all the way into my thoughts because it's really important to like protect your energy always trying to open up my open my mind to new ideas new perspectives, and just learning to fully listen and not jump into the conversation if I don't agree. Just to listen and just hear how other people think and use that to better myself and 
just to learn. I also want to be way more mindful of what I'm consuming physically and mentally, like food wise, chemical wise, product wise, and for sure content wise. So many things that can be manipulated and that we don't even know, and then it can manipulate the mind. Like, yes, we can always listen and see, but I always try to be very conscious of what I'm consuming spiritual wise because I still do believe there is a big spiritual war. There's different things that you can consume that may that may not be very pure and we think that it is, you know? But that is mainly what I've been into lately, spiritually wise, like those topics. And I want to make more videos about all of those topics. I would love to. I personally have always believed in God and Jesus and I've never really been to church, but last year I went and I absolutely love the community I love just learning about the Bible. I think it's a beautiful thing. I liked going to church. It was a very beautiful thing to experience and I probably will go again in the future. I've always felt really close to God and even when I sp started my spiritual journey, I sp started my spiritual journey, I always had God in my heart because first of all, I can see spirits. I do believe in the spiritual world and I know that there's evil, so I know that there's good. I love to try and see God in everything and it just makes life so much more beautiful. Our world is full of love and pain and I think it's just really important for us to know that we do have free will and we just need to really have gratitude for what we have in our life, even the smallest things, and just to give gratitude every day. The only thing we can control is ourselves, so it's really important just to to find things that make you happy and to always try and find something beautiful in everything to make good choices and try to set the best mindset for yourself that you can i'm not perfect in any way i'm still learning and i'm still going through my journey i could and i'm really happy on the path that i'm on right now i don't really like how popular spirituality got and of course like i got into it like more at that time everybody was too but to me like it's always been a part of my life and I think it forever will be I'm a very spiritual person and it's just so easy for other things to manipulate spirituality because it's such a delicate thing in my opinion there's such a dark side to spirituality that it's very easy for the light to get dragged into the dark and not really even know about it I'm not too sure if you guys will understand that but it's just really important to me to really do my research and really feel the vibes and the energy and really I do ask for discernment from God a lot of the times into my angels and things like that pretty much every single time it'll come through like that and if it doesn't it takes a little bit it's just really important to me to protect my energy and to really help the light in this like spiritual war whatever's going on I think that spirituality is really just being so involved in nature and getting to know yourself and learn new things about yourself that it's just it's just such a beautiful thing but with all that being said, I'm really excited to be back on my channel and making videos. I do really want to focus more on lifestyle videos and a lot of my lifestyle videos I'm hoping to include all of the things that I talked about today. I want to do more videos on natural remedies and herbs, cooking, healthy meals and not, like I'm still human, natural product. I really want to do more vlogs and I will for sure still be making spiritual content. I just want it to be more natural and not as forced. I hope everything Thing I said today kind of makes sense to you guys and of course like I said in the beginning if you guys have any questions about anything that I said or want to ask anything go ahead I'm going to be responding to everybody and maybe I can even do another video like this because I'm sure I forgot a lot every time I sit down to talk I always forget what i'm supposed to say thank you guys so much for listening to me today i had a lot of fun just talking to you guys go ahead and comment some pink hearts down below if you guys have made it to this point i love you guys so much thank you guys so much for listening to me today so don't forget to like and subscribe go ahead and turn your little post notifications on so you guys every time i upload it will be every sunday at 10 a.m hope wherever you are in this world you are having a beautiful day or night and i can't wait to see you guys bye guys